Hello my crafty friends, it's Beverly here of Crafting Chaos and I'm here with another video on the foil quill tool. I've got it plugged in and I've also got it heating up as we speak so that we're not waiting for the machine once we get to that point. And what I've actually got is some different foil to try to see if this actually will work on the machine. So I've got some black foil that I just got from the internet um, so we're going to try this today so I'm just cutting myself a piece which I think will be big enough so this is for our first design and I've also this one's about four inches wide and that cost about three I think it was three pounds for five meters in black and they had a lot of different colors so I thought I'd give this a go it's a little bit creased because I've been storing it rather badly I think and then the other one I've got it's a great big roll and there's loads of meters on here. I can't remember just how many there are, but it's like literally, I'd want to say at least 50, if not more. So you can see by the thickness that there's lots. Now it's only quite narrow, but I thought this would be ideal for greetings rather than using a big full sheet that this narrow might be for greetings. And again, I got this online and it was £3.50 for this roll and I've got it in pink and I bought it in gold. So I thought I'd give it a go and see how it works. Okay, so I'm just getting it going because obviously I've not used it yet. So we're trying it together as it were. I'll try not to do that. A bit of gold and, sorry, a bit of black and pink there together now. So again, I'm just cutting myself a strip which I think will be long enough and because it's quite a decent length this foil I don't feel as under pressure to conserve it the same so what I'm doing is I'm just positioning my um, foils on my mat like so and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tape them down so I've also got to try some different tape because I thought the tape that came with wasn't going to be lasting very long so all I got was some really cheap micropore tape, which I got from Home Bargains. And I think it was about 25 pence for a little roll. So we're going to try this today. So I'm just setting it up. So you're trying it with me, if you will. And I've created my greeting using the Canvas software. And I've just downloaded some single line fonts which I think will work well. Securing it round the edges. And I've already got my quill tool installed in my machine, attached to my um, power supply, which I've bought, which I've told you about. It's this one, um, the 100 mega amps Kimps. And it was quite, um reasonably priced over at amazon and like i said before i don't receive any um payment or anything like that for doing the videos i don't receive any free product i'm not asking for any free product i just do this for like-minded crafters who enjoy learning to use the tools and hopefully taking the mystery out of it for some people if they're not quite sure so like I say I've got my um now because this is quite narrow it's about I'd say about a meter and three uh, meter an inch and three quarters I'm going right on the very edge just just tiny just so that I can make sure I can get my sentiment on so um it does look decent foil I'm hoping that it works because I'm thinking if it doesn't work I'll be able to use it in my crafting anyway as dry foil but I just thought I'd do this video with you today to see how it all works out and what I did to actually purchase this foil is I looked for the not the heat activated that comes with um, kind of the laser printers but the one that's used supposedly for those hot dyes so like a toddle or something like that so I'm just going to scan the background and try to get this on. So let's zoom in and look at that now. Now obviously all of these files that are on these USBs 
for um, the USB use with the foil should work equally as well with um, pens and, and things if you didn't want to do this way. So I'm going to set it off now. I've got the pressure right down to minus and I think I've got it on minus six. So the, I've got the pressure really low because what I've found when I'm doing this foiling is that it does tend to really dig in somehow because the stylus seems to be quite sharp. Incidentally, I'm using the medium tip. So it's the medium tip that I'm using. So these like, little things could be like for tags or it could be for the sentiment on a bigger card or um, it could be the focal image on a smaller card with some nice backing papers. So it's just doing the, the flower that was round that sort of really um, contemporary wreath, shall we say. So I've no idea if this is going to work, whether it's the right foil or not, but we will see. Right, so I'm hoping that you can see that it's actually looks to have filed them. So I'm going to unload the mat, just close that up. Before I do that, I'm just going to remove the quill because I don't want it to be overheating my machine. So I'm just going to pop it on top while it cools down so I can get it out. And I'm just going to switch my battery power thing off just while we have a look at what's happened here. So here we are for the reveal. So this is kind of a revelation for me too. So will it have worked? Will it not have worked? Is this tape too sticky? So I think the tape actually is okay, providing you do that thing where you stick it to yourself first before you stick it to your project and then it doesn't seem to rip the card. Just overlapped a little bit there. So I am trying to be careful, but at the same time conscious that obviously we are videoing this. So, like I say, I'm just carefully removing the tape, if I can. I'll try from this side and see if this helps. So I'm going to take that off. And obviously you can reuse this tape as you could the others. Right, so it seems to have worked. A nice fine line. You can see the foiling. It was a bit strong on there. So it does seem to have worked. You can, it's difficult to see the um shine on that at the minute so that one worked okay oh that one's worked absolutely brilliantly so i think definitely i don't know if you can see you can actually see that that's worked really well so you've got that love you more in a mixed font and there you've got your love you and it is meant to be a little bit distressed that's how it was on the file um and maybe I've used not nice pe I've, I've used the very end and perhaps really I should have used it a bit further on because I think they give you a little bit more to allow for the packing. So we'll thing is so definitely this one fantastic worked really well. And this one also has worked. You can see that that's in black and I can see it shining here. I don't know if you can on the video. But like it was a little bit distressed like that. So you could colour that in and make it into a sentiment. Cut this one out and make that, put that as part of a card. So um, I'll try to put a link to where you can buy these thin strip foils. Because um, obviously they're going to be last you for absolutely ages. I was hoping that they would actually work. Because I think more than anything, I am probably going to use my scan coat with the foiling thing more for sentiments because that's what i'd intend mainly to do them on i might use it for little accents on cards and again this would be fine for that so i think it's definitely a hit i'd definitely recommend the thin roll um i'm not just as impressed with the black one but that might be me rather than the machine because i have picked rather a bit of a ratty piece but you can see where it's pushed it through and it's actually stuck to the card. So that's it for this video. Um, I hope you like it. hope you can see it. So please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks.